Cedric, very good having you here today. You represent BlackRock, a very important player in the real estate industry. Uh, how do you see the market conditions nowadays? Where are the opportunities? Well, uh, first, thanks for welcoming us here. Uh, even in this ice, to me, it's not so far away. Uh, I'm glad I'm here and I'm a regular visitor of the GRI conventions where it's, uh, it's a nice place to speak up and freely with uh, our counterparts uh, and the market in general. So what about the market today? Uh, obviously, we see the, some disconnections in what we used to have for the last 10 years. We are back to the great old world what was previous 2007. Uh, so no big change regarding that. It's just that uh, we have to remake ourselves ready for that new market, which is close to the old market. Perfect. And let's talk about next year, 2024. Do you think it's going to be a better year, worse than 2020, or same, same thing? So the, the beauty of uh, BlackRock currently is that we have a um, uh, a very advanced to deploy. So I would say from the Black Hawk and personal perspective, I think it's going to be a better year because opportunities may pop up while you will see that for the last three months and probably the next three one, the market is a bit stuck. Uh, in, in Well, when the market doesn't move, it's not good. So it should start to move again. And uh, movement is a good thing, including Perfect. in real estate. Perfect. Let's talk about ESG, which is a very hot topic we have been discussing in many uh, members when they get together to talk about ESG and technology. How do you see this topic? How close are you from this topic and what's the future for the sector? Well, ESG is quite important to us. Uh, obviously, we are being careful with it because depending on which side of the Atlantic you sit, uh, it doesn't seem the same way. But all the, the team, and mainly the real estate team in Europe, is, is quite involved in how we can improve our of, of carbon and the carbon uh, footprint of our assets, but also the consumption of our assets. And part of our value creation stands on, uh, on the improvement we can do and, and work on our assets uh, in that regard. Uh, uh, digitalization and technology helps uh, undoubtedly because uh, to, to limit the footprint, you have to track the, the data. And like, uh, BlackRock loves to track the data. Uh, and, and, and the technology helps in that sense. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, ESG and technology, it's the end user that makes the difference. The end user is the one that goes working in this asset, uh, that turns on the light, turns off the light, uh, that uses a lot of water to wash its hands or not. Residential is the same. And, and technology would help to sensibilize people, but to help them to uh, optimize their consumptions and their, their footprint themselves they, they are having. So uh, we are alongside the market and try to be ahead of the market. But nicely enough, and mainly in France and in Paris, uh, I think we are on top of it. Perfect. Cedric, I thank you very much for your participation. Thanks, Thanks for so. joining the GR as a member. You, a you are always with good ideas, <laughs> interacting with everybody, and I appreciate having it's you a as a pleasure. member. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gustavo.